Hi guys, this is Scrivily again with another pen review. Surprise, surprise. Today we're going to talk about a Japanese pen. It's not a Sailor, it's not a Platinum, it's not a Pilot, but it also starts with P. It's a Pentel. The Pentel Tradio, Tradio, whatever. It's a fairly interesting pen, I find, because uh, you actually rarely see this pen getting any attention. I've almost never seen a review about this, this pen. Um, at times one sees them uh, featured somewhere online in the stationary community uh, because um, there's also rollerballs available uh, for in, in, in that model or in that barrel body type of design. But that here is actually a fountain pen. Uh, the Pentel Tradio fountain pen comes in a couple of different colors. This here I think is called sand or something like that and or stone. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Um, um, as a matter of fact, it's from the Pentel Tradio. I call it Tradio, not Tradio. I would call it Tradio for the purpose of that review here. Um, uh, it's, it's from the Pentel Tradio nature series but then there's also like uh there's also one or two different other series in more poppy shiny colors like red yellow orange blue or whatever black you can check that online fairly nice pen it's a fairly inexpensive pen costs around 15 euro 12 i've even seen it for 12 euros so that is like it's a lightweight pen it's roughly the price range of uh the lamy safari uh, a little bit shorter than the Lamy Safari, um, or almost roughly, roughly the same, roughly the same length. Even yeah, pretty much exactly the same length, uh, pretty much exactly the same weight. Maybe the Tradio is is even a little bit more lightweight. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's it it it's a little bit of an eye catcher, right? And it's it's not. It's nothing overly exciting. Uh, in my opinion, but for around 12 to 15 euro, it's a very nice pen, nice note taker. You can just throw that into your, it's pretty sturdy. It's made from sort of a plastic, um, has a little bit of a, I don't know, like the camera doesn't really pick that up. Maybe with the help of um, some white paper, I don't know if you can see it. It has a little bit of a like satiny, silkyish surface. It's not, so it's not really glossy shiny plain rubber uh, uh, plastic it's a little bit smooth here that's why i said rubber it feels a little bit rubberish anyway for that price a nice like let me call it a knock around pen very nice the cap here has a little um see-through window you can see the nib in here otherwise that is probably not very useful for anything else but you can see the nib with some blue ink on it in here that's quite nice then i mean i don't really know how to describe the shape of the pen because it's a quite unique shape you can see that here for yourself is sort of a little bit of a cigar shape um says tradio trf whatever trf is pentel here it says pentel japan then that clip here plastic yeah definitely usable not overly tight not overly loose that's just uh i i wouldn't be worried of to break that that's pretty sturdy clip very usable um, and then the barrel here has a small I don't know silver metal ring here that just probably looks nice or whatever and then uh, holes in here so you could not eyedropper fill that pen however it's plastic has holes down here and then sort of like a step down here whatever that is useful for maybe just a design purpose uncup the pen uh, inside of course that um, little inner cap that prevents the nib from drying out which works very well a uh, slightly weird looking section if you ask me because like it's like very very long has a ridge here of which i'm also not really sure what this is useful for but you almost don't feel it when holding the pen the good thing about that long section is that you can basically hold that pen wherever you want to it has a step down here but that step down here is not yeah, it's, it's just a small step down. It's a smooth step down, flares out here a little bit. So that is nothing that, that bothers me when holding the pen. The nib has a little bit, I think there's a fairly, fairly small nib. Um, let's compare it to the, to maybe a number five or something. Uh, even the, the Lamy nibs that are already also quite small are larger than that one. So it's uh, a fairly small nib. Let me see if I have a Caveco Sport around. Reminds me a little bit of the nib of a Caveco Sport. 
I do have a Kaweco Sport around. Yeah, that's more or less the nib size. Right? So, put that away. And what do we see? We see some scroll work on here, a little bit of some decoration, says then Pentel. Iridium point, that's it. Plastic feet down here. That is more or less a medium nib. Doesn't have any designation. I've also, when you buy it, I've never seen options, broad, medium, or whatsoever. Cap can be posted. Pen doesn't get too long. Very, very light. The, the cap is super light. It's just, yeah, it's just plastic, so it, it doesn't really... I don't have to post the pen because like it's also a comfortable size like that, but yeah, maybe post it. It's even a bit more comfortable because it's such a lightweight pen, so the posting adds a little bit of extra weight here, but like you don't really feel a big difference because, as I said, the cap is so lightweight. You can open the pen and out comes a... Standard International long ink cartridge that the pen normally comes with when you buy it. Uh, there's one thing that I have to point out that I find a bit weird with that pen. Uh, and I'm now, I hope that doesn't give a mess, try to like pull out that ink cartridge. It is, it's a long ink cartridge, but it sits in fairly deep. Let me try to mark that here with my finger and put it in. So you see that. And here I have a standard international short ink cartridge. So that means if I put in a standard international short ink cartridge and that now went in until where my fingernail is, uh, that will probably only stick out like, I don't know, three millimeters or so. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to get that out here again then. I mean, you might still, I don't want to... Let's try that, but I'm not going to insert it because otherwise I can't use it. Okay, it works. If I now click that in, it will probably slide down that much more. So it will stick out two or three millimeters only or four. I don't know, like around half a centimeter probably. So you need probably, it's going to be a little bit finicky to get the ink cartridge back out. I don't know really why they constructed it like that. Just made that a little bit lower or whatever. So that would have been better. But that's just, just something that I thought might be worth mentioning. Close the pen again and towards the end of the review we do a short writing sample. That pen just writes all right. It's no particularly uh, exciting. Now it write in a little bit. That normally doesn't happen probably because the pen was unkept for a while right now. Um, Pentelt Radio. I assume it's a medium nib. Line variation. You can get some. You can really get some. But um, not sure if you're supposed to write like that with the pen. I would probably not write with that all the time like that. But you definitely get some. Uh, as to wetness. Definitely also on the wetter side. Um, otherwise, it's a, it's a really okay writing experience. It's, it's, it's nothing super fancy, but it's also far from being shabby or something like that. It's, uh, it's really a nice writer. Uh, as I said initially, I, I would consider that like a inexpensive knock-around note-taker pen. You can't go wrong with that pen. That's something that's for sure. Um, I hope that that review was also helpful to you and as always, I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.